The Open Legacy architecture encompasses a set of development tools, full runtime environment, and API management capabilities. Open Legacy projects are basic Java projects which are built to expose APIs based on existing legacy backends. We now invoke the legacy program on the Temino system for which we will be creating an API. First, we connect to the host using the Temino's user and password. We then select the relevant transaction, in this case funds transfer, and enter the transaction details, transaction type, debit and credit details, and submit the transaction. The host then processes the transaction and notifies completion. Connecting to the payment services, we see that the transaction is not authorized. In this example, we have already created the SDK project and will now connect to Temenos to fetch the Temenos entity that will be used in this project. The entity is brought over already in Java format with all the definitions required, so there is no need to generate the entity in the IDE. Clicking on the Funds Transfer Java file opens the Entity Editor, and we can view the Java code. To create the service, we create API projects and expose them as REST or SOAP services. In this case, we are creating a microservices-based API project using our SDK as a reference and deploying the project with Docker. Using the service editor, we can edit the service method and the input and output of the service. In our example, we are adding multiple fields as inputs and creating a single output for the funds transfer service. In the service editor, we can edit the details of the methods, inputs and outputs, the mappings and the Java sources. All the graphical activities are available by editing the Java code as well. We can now deploy the API we created as a microservice to Docker. 
We first perform a Maven install on the SDK project. This will build the SDK for use as a dependency by the clean install that we run on the API project. The Maven clean install creates the jar file that will be deployed and the Docker file. Using PuTTY or other SSH clients such as Git Bash, we deploy the jar and the Docker file to a predefined location. Docker creates an image and container and deploys the microservice to the ecosystem. After the API has been deployed as a microservice, we can use Open Legacy's management console to run the microservice. We first log into the console as administrator. Under the Apps tab, we can see the Temenos API in the list of apps. Clicking the API opens the details screen from where we invoke the API using Swagger to emulate its activity. Using a browser, we can now see the API catalog, invoke the new API, and its documentation, the request and response, and test it in the Swagger page. These emulations serve as real-time application testing and proof of application design by displaying actual runtime results in the Swagger format. In Swagger, we enter the transfer details, invoke the transaction, and get the transaction ID. We then return to Temenos and see that the transfer is unauthorized due to lack of sufficient balance. We can then delete the transaction from Temenos.